Ice here. Time spinner. Um, yeah, we're, I guess, kind of trying to post game, but I don't know if this game really has a post game. Um, but we're certainly looking around places for stuff. Also, that weapon set isn't going to reveal any hidden things. So yeah, in the last part we beat the game. This part, we're just trying to solve side quests and fill in map. Oh, hello. Big. Okay, I figured I could probably just tank it. Which is a weird thing to just like be confident in for little reason. Okay, might as well go this way first. Uh... Interesting. Another fetid wyvern. Alright, just treasure. Still would like to know what it looks like when that ring reveals the presence of a thing. Funny, being spit on from the left was actually uh, saving me health. Alright. Then we just uh, hit up a save point to get our health back. And get right back down there, because there's stuff to find. And hopefully, some actual, like, copper wyverns? Or were those only in the past? Maybe they were in the Caves of Banishment. Because we still need those for a side quest, and that side quest might be blocking other side quests. Oh yeah. Uh, let's not use that doorway though, because it has an animation on it. We'll use the door on this side. I guess I should also equip all the luck up I can. Coin, sugar plume. Yeah, we're farming these until they either drop enough. Oh, that's a wyvern tail. Is that what the quest actually wants? Okay, it says I have one out of three progress. So I was gonna say. We're gonna farm it either until the quest is done, or until it drops something and it's revealed to not be the quest item. Because we knew that there was only one what item these dropped, based on the bestiary. So I'm hoping this doesn't take long. I don't know if I really have time this week to edit anything. Anyway, side quest complete. Let's turn it in. Maybe pick up some more side quests. Who needed these? You. Okay, these things are heavy. Got the wyvern tails? Fabulous. You hear that? One strength restoring feast coming right up. Quest completed, get some tail. And there's another quest, and we got a sautéed wyvern tail. Seem to be settling in around here, you're doing the camp a lot of good, helping you helps me. Can't convince me helping is Shem was a selfish act. We've been ta talking a lot. Well, I talk, he writes. It's amazing he's kept such a sense of humor after going through what he has, first as a portal guard, then the bleakness, and being stuck here. What's so tough about being a portal guard? It's a less glamorous job than regular army positions. He's from a different class than the rest of us. No magical talent. I've been told all my life that I'm better than him, you know? Above him, just because of what little magic I have. He's got a great smile, though. And... Luna Ice makes a sound? Oh yes, anyway, food. Supplies have been pretty good thanks to your help, but if we keep spirits up, we'll need a little variety. There's some giant eels deep in the lake. If you can swim, getting some of their meat could be just what the quartermaster ordered. How big are these eels? Oh, you know, not so big. Like, as long as six men or so. It's a good thing I like a challenge, Seikus. Oh, I know. Okay, does anybody else have a new side quest as a result of advancing that quest line? Because we all know that 
the side quest tracker goes up to five. There's little reason for it to go up to five if nobody has a fifth quest. Wait. It, that screen's not the lake, is it? Was this a lake? I guess I kind of want to explore in here anyway. Was the lake like... I know this was near the drawbridge. But where were the eels? So why is this marked? Right, there was that thin wall thing that I didn't have a way to break or anything. Right. right, I'm not immune to poison at the moment. Prevents poison. It doesn't cure existing poison. I guess I can't tank my way through that. I guess I could have stopped time, maybe, and... I don't have a slide. I've been playing Smash Ultimate, and Simon and Richter have slides. I was like, oh yeah, I could have just slid under him. Uh, just kidding. Uh, hi. That's reasonably effective. Oh, I dropped the head by... Got it. Free treasure. It's a potion. Kinda low on those. Silver ore, used by goldsmiths to make jewelry. I don't know of a use for that. Huh. More copper wyvern here. Oh, gold necklace, gold ring, essence crystal, elemental beads, so one of every crafting material. find. Oh, an orb. Wind orb slices foes with supersonic gusts of wind. Alright. What do they look like? I see. That's basically the same sort of attack as the empire orbs I just unequipped. Alright. But that was not where the lake was. Uh, so I guess continue right, take a warp to somewhere that looks like it might be where the lake is. A little late on that. I think I should have picked up that sand. Did just spend some going up over that giant enemy. I mean, I guess to the left of here is where the caves were. But did the caves have the eels? I thought it was a lake where I was, like, actually exploring, like, a big area. Maybe it was right up here. Freshwater eel. The weak to wind. Eel meat. I'm just farming this one. This is the episode where we farm dudes. That attacks really fast. Oop. I keep expecting it to cost aura. Uh, wasn't quite lined up. I don't know how to safely fight these. You're just a little slow underwater unless you're actually, like, on the ground. I guess, or rising. Okay, I mean, that was a clean kill. 
but there's a safe point nearby, so it's not like we need clean kills. Oh, wow. How much eel meat did I need? Like two, right? I guess I could put my luck back on. I don't need poison immunity. I don't have two ancient coins. And yeah, the plume it seems to be my best. Better than the synthetic version. But my meat didn't just like get dropped in the wall there. I'm pretty sure the item drops as soon as the enemy dies. You don't have to wait for the death animation. But I waited that time, just, I don't know, in case. Oh, hey, there it is. How many did I need? Oh. Needs a single one, but it doesn't say quest complete until you deliver it for some reason. That's been weirdly inconsistent in this game. I feel like if all you need to do is talk to the quest giver, they should say it's complete. Okay, yeah, got the meat as requested. A few spices should fix it up magically. Okay. And it is quite magic to make it appealing, and I didn't pause fast enough to read the description of the item. Nagi roll. Succulent slice of freshwater eel on top of rice wrapped around crispy vegetables. And here's the wa wyvern tail. Sauteed copper wyvern tail drowning in a perfectly deglazed sauce. Okay. Now. Uh, I don't think it's actually better than my current equipment, but it's at least interesting that they have stuff. Alright. Storm Eye. Surround yourself with raging winds that tear nearby foes apart as a necklace. So I guess it probably is vaguely like Leaf Shield or something. Tailwind Ring. Expends aura points to strengthen melee actions. Just like all... Hmm. Interesting. So it basically makes anything into the plasma orbs in terms of the fact that you spend aura each attack. I don't think I like that idea. This seems pretty cool, though. I thought I already crafted it. I guess not. I guess I probably ran out of stuff. I might need to buy more from the Merchant Crow. Oh, but I have the Oculus Ring. I kind of need that to, like, stay on. You have a quest. Feeling any better? Yeah, well, mostly. Well, a little. Anything I can do? Stay and talk a bit? Not a big talker. You've been such a help to everyone else in the camp. Remeta and Neleste and Seikis. Sakis has been really good to me, keeping me company and whatnot. This is a nice group of people. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I think I like Sakis a lot. Uh-huh. Have you told him? No, I'm worried. Why? Back home, he wouldn't have looked at me. He would have been supposed to. He's a higher class. Magically talented. Not like me. Yeah? You get whisked away to the academies if you have magic. The rest of us slip up once and get arrested, banished, or killed. I think Sakis might like you. Even if he does, he'll never say it. Need to rest. I'll leave you be. Wait. Want to give him something. Maybe it will help. Could you bring me silver ore? Maybe from the caves? Yeah, sure. This is what I could find. Dots. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Thank you. I hope... Well, thank you. Quest complete. We did it. Um. Anyone else? Okay. You okay? Hmm? Oh, yeah, just lost the thought. Thinking about a certain cute portal guard? What? Oh, yeah, but... Uh, it just makes me mad that he was condemned to that blasted sickness. You, I mean, we all have it. He just has it worse. That's just bad luck. But he didn't have to get it in the first place if he wasn't forced to stay here. We got trapped. He was told to stay. No one should have that power to decide that. Some people get fewer rights just because of how they were born. That some people have to live with disease. Sorry, not my usual cheery self today. You looking for something to do? If it'll help? Sure, yeah, let me think. I've seen the little Akami riding Shiver into battle. They've been raising the birds to be big. They'd make a much bigger difference for our rations than the little guys around here. 
Plus, it'll keep Harrisdale happy. Kill two Shiver with one stone, as it were. Improve our la rations and weaken the Lycami army at the same time. Think the meat will be any good? Ah, uh, who knows, but Harrisdale's been pestering me. Okay, alright, giant warbird flesh coming up. Can I have some? How much do I need? I need to report back. <laughs> oh, but I guess I need to leave the room before it realizes. And they moved position! Can't turn in the quest while you're there. Gotta be up here. Oh, the person's sitting up. And your sprite changed. And you're wondering if Seik has said anything about anything. Got your bird meat. Can't believe we bought into it for so long. That you could cook this stuff? What? Oh, thanks, Lunais. No, I meant their whole system. We were privileged by it, yeah. He's talking about privilege. It is itself. No wonder the Lokemi rebelled. Okay, and yeah, we're not supposed to care, but you're wonderful. Got it. Okay, any more quests? Was that quest line complete, or was it credited to um, the sick person, who I've already forgotten the name of? A Shem? This is still your old sprite here. Alright, none of these quest lines are fully complete. But nobody has a quest either. Maybe if I reset the area again? Ah, you've got something. Oh, I missed. <laughs> okay, how can you still support them? Okay, your job and duty is to defend people. You stopped a genocide, weaken demons. You're telling me these are bad things? Of course not. Good deeds with bad motivations. You're questioning my integrity? No, I'm questioning the Let's. Harastel, our nation, our home. They've done some terrible things. Social order Ver Volterellis has set up, privileging those with magic above all others. So I'm supposed to be ashamed of something I have no control over. No, you just can't force others to live in segregation because of something they have no control over. D -d 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 yeah, the Let's done great things. Maybe for some of us, it's treasonous. Who's gonna banish me? We're already stranded. You're speaking as if Vlet has no redemption, like Ilakemi, who've consorted with demons, and who regretted those moves. I'm not siding with them, but I don't know. I can't say you're entirely wrong, but I can't believe Vlet's as bad as you're saying. It's done so much good. What evidence can you give me? What evidence could I possibly get? Vlet still exists now in my time, which means there will be history books, or data files, or whatever, in Barn de Grey. Maybe even historical documents if I can get into more secure areas. Probably with my A key card. Maybe the Lakemi have records? Yeah, maybe. Fine, if you can truly show me, then I'll give up on Vallette once and for all, as you seem to have. Okay, yeah, enough. Thanks. Alright. Let's go raid more of a library. This is the side quest episode, because, like, what else could it be at this point? <laughs> Certainly not the main quest episode. That was last time. Uh... There's not an up exit there, by the way. I, uh, misread the map. Alright. Hey! Oh, hi. Oh, wait, you're on the ground. <laughs> it attacks so fast. But, uh, probably, like, literally anything deals more damage. Okay, maybe not literally anything. This also probably is more energy efficient than, uh, casting the big hammer spell twice. What is that? Time spinner gear 2. Tuning gear needed to accurately use the time spinner. Second in a set of three. This looks familiar. This is part of the time spinner. One of the tuning gears. That's why I went back so far. This wasn't attached. There are supposed to be three of these to calibrate how far back the time spinner goes. Well, too late now. You're nice. If you found all three, you could tune it properly. So? Could do what you meant to at the start. Go to a different time. I could go back to before Nuvius ever found Windaria. I could actually save them. Heck, with the gears I could go anywhere. Just need the other two. Easier said than done. If I can't find them, I can still kill Nuvius. Okay! We've got our first hint at the true ending. But not our documents. Okay, that just deals damage. I thought it might, like, start an alarm. Because they look a lot like lasers you would expect to be sensing things. Oh. I had a different set on. Oh, it's 
too close to zap now. Oh, good work. Uh, whatever your name is. Dream Dragon. Can you just be called Spyro now? <laughs> Can't really remember more than one name of a small dragon. It's, it's too difficult. I, think I don't need these markers anymore. They may have been for key cards. I wonder, do I like already have the document? Quest is not complete. It's physical evidence of Let's War Crimes. So, where's left to go in the future? Maybe over here is still Varn de Grey? Wait, where was the big wall? Was it here? By big wall, I mean like the wall that you need multiple actions in the past to open it up. We just saved. So you still got it. Oh yeah, this was where it was. But I guess this could still be part of the library. I just don't remember that well. This is looking distinctly not library-like. Oh, hi. I just want your treasure. Axora, cool. out of time juice but I got the map exploration another pair of lab glasses wait where am I going guess explore the top of this room go through this warp or maybe I'm interested in like over here ah, that I didn't start my dash like I intended Lab glasses! Glasses for a lab. Oh. oh, it's you. Starship engineers are retreating from their positions. Another orb type! Gun orb! Imitates a standard issue handgun. Uh, where are they? Oh, there. It's silly. I think I will just include that as a ranged attack, and then put on the, um, Oculus Ring here, so it's on all my sets, so I won't miss anything ever. Alright, so we found two orb types, accomplished a lot of side quests. Oh, that deals a lot of damage to experiments. At least to that specific experiment. Let's hit up the save point before we do anything foolish. Right, now should I go up and then try to fall down? Because there's a downward exit from the room a couple to the right. Oh, there's a wall. The bullets go through the wall. Lab key. Also, that's what secrets look like. Now I can stop checking walls. Two memories. An old friend. I'm in the city once more. It's been many years since I made the journey, but we need the supplies, including some for Lunias' party. Her training is nearly complete, and she will be a time messenger as soon as the celebration is done. I'm so proud of her, but also so aware of the dangers and pain we're asking her to endure. I'm also hoping to learn more about the Lakemi, perhaps get some clue to their movements, perhaps some information Lunais can use to stop them forever. I examine a crate of Lakemi's sons in the marketplace, hoping to get one for Lunais. She wants to understand the importance, but maybe one day. There's a large Lakem patrol nearby. It's not nearly as bustling as the last time I was here. I casually scrutinize a son as they pass, hoping to avoid attention. I'm unsuccessful. Selen? I recognize the voice. I turn as he takes off his helmet. He has a beard now, blue as his hair, but it's definitely him. Nuvius, I say. That's Emperor Nuvius, one of his guards snarls. My eyes widen. 
It's okay, Karak. He smiles at me. Never thought I'd see you again. He moves to embrace me, and I fight the urge to recoil. There's so many soldiers. Emperor? I manage? He stays close when he releases me and lowers his voice. Yes, I was merely a prince when I saw you last, and didn't want you to like me just for my power. But come, we must catch up. Dinner somewhere? I know a lovely little spot. He gestures a path through his squad of guards, and they part on command, snapping to attention. Emperor of Lakem, but what choice do I have? I nod. And the other one? Twilight Dinner. To his credit, the spot he found for dinner is lovely. A view of the ocean, twilight surrounding us, a warm breeze rustling in the trees. Still, I'm profoundly uncomfortable. I've always hoped I would see you again, Nubia says to me, pouring a glass of wine. How come you never returned? I had other things to take care of, I say. Come, like what? I became a leader of my clan. Ah, wonderful. We are both leaders, then. That night, all those years ago, I meant what I said about wanting to find a wise ally. Truly, Nuvius? Your people have taken so much from our world, I say, hoping his response will reveal the desire for self-improvement I remember. What we have taken, we have given back tenfold, he scoffs. I look down. But perhaps I haven't had the right counselor, he recovers. I still think about that night so long ago, the family we could have had. I try to hide my reaction, but I can tell by his that I've failed. What? He stops drinking his wine and looks at me. There's something you're not telling me. I had a daughter, Nivius. I'm stunned at my own admission. I'm panicking. I need to get out of here. His eyes widen. Is she... I nod reluctantly. A daughter! His eyes light up. That's perfect. That's wonderful. What's her name? Lunias. I feel like throwing up. Lunias. Selen, I'm so pleased. You must bring her to me. I shake my head and stammer. My clan is very private, Nivius. We do not let outsiders. Who cares about your clan? Clan. He downs his glass of wine and pours another. I am the Emperor. You will come back with me, you and Lunias. You can be my queen. We can rule the galaxy together. I'm speechless for a moment. What? Is all I can manage? Selen, I've wanted this for years. I love you. That's why I wanted to see you again for so long. You can have anything you've ever wanted. Just come with me. We can be together forever. I balk. You love me? You knew me for three days, almost twenty years ago. And I never forgot you. I've always loved you. I longed for a family with you. Da, da, da. Yeah, it's not mutual. You were a fling. Nonsense. I rule the world. Da, da. You can rule with me. You're responsible for so much pain. Doesn't matter. No, I'll never be with you. But you're mine. You and your daughter. I'm leaving. Okay, yeah. He tries to argue again. Wine has made him sloppy. And yeah, she flees. Got it. <sighs> It's about time to save and quit. Wonder... Oh! Wait. Oh, I was damaging the junk on the ground. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't really give any hint that it reacts to any weaponry. There's a handhold there. But how would you I don't know, there may still be a movement upgrade I'm missing. Oh, that does pierce. I've been wondering. At least it pierces through destructible objects. It may not pierce through enemies. Alright. I wonder if I want to try to go to one last location before ending things off. I'm rather curious about what's here. Except that's definitely not relevant to the side quest. I don't know. I'm gonna use the uh, save point that's conveniently next to a uh, warp so that I'm ready for next time. And also at Varndegray, which is where the side quest Suggested I look? Okay, but we know that the area over there is like absolutely not Barn de Grey. Physical evidence of the war crimes. I wonder if... Even though it was suggested we might find something at Barn de Grey, it's actually elsewhere? I mean, I've like been to all the rooms now, right? I guess there could be like a secret room. You attack a wall? I'll have to be a go all over here with my scanner on, then. Or rather, my oculus ring. Although, I have 94% map here. Maybe I should 
try to sweep through this area first. See if it gets me to 100% map before I go looking for any hidden rooms. Also, that is going to be like under the library. Maybe there's a secret second library. I wouldn't bet on it, but maybe? Anyway, that's it for this part. See ya!